the first one is uh, by boiling and this only will remove temporary water hardness so we have boiling that we've said removes temporary water hardness during boiling the calcium hydrogen carbonate and magnesium hydrogen carbonate decompose to form insoluble respective carbonates for example if we have calcium hydrogen carbonate that only exists in aqueous state when that is boiled that is boiling it gives calcium carbonate that is solid plus carbon four oxide gas plus water now this calcium carbonate form is in solid form meaning it has no dissolve calcium ion therefore no hardness no water hardness similarly when the magnesium hydrogen carbonate is boiled boiling it forms magnesium carbonate that has not dissolved magnesium ion plus carbon four oxide gas plus water the second method of removing water hardness is addition of sodium hydrogen carbonate b addition of sodium hydrogen carbonate so when you add sodium hydrogen carbonate the calcium ions and uh, magnesium ions get precipitated and this will uh, remove both types it removes both types of water hardness so what happens sodium hydrogen carbonate is uh, having sodium ions carbonate ions so the carbonate ions is what will react with the respective ions that bring the hardness that is calcium ion and magnesium ion and that will lead to formation of insoluble salt i.e magnesium carbonate and uh, calcium carbonate so this is what we are saying now the calcium ion in the hard water will react with the carbonate ion this is from sodium hydrogen carbonate and that leads to formation of uh, calcium carbonate that is insoluble so this one has no dissolved calcium ion hence no hardness similarly magnesium ion 
reacts with the carbonate ion to form magnesium carbonate that exists in solid state therefore has no dissolved sodium uh, has no dissolved magnesium ion another method of removing water hardness that is part c is distillation this also this method removes both types of water hardness and the distillation we are talking about here is simple distillation where we are simply heating for dissolved ions to remain as a solute then we simply collect our solvent as a distillate so during distillation the solution or that water is heated and during heating the water the solvent part of that hard water which is pure water will uh, escape in form of vapor and finally get condensed using Liebig condenser and that gives the distillate which is pure colorless liquid and the dissolved ions will remain in the end where eating is taking place that is in the round bottomed flask so there is another way that we can use to remove both permanent and temporary water hardness the last method to be used to remove water hardness is a ion exchange this means exchanging the hardness causing ions that is magnesium and calcium with uh, sodium ions which do not cause hardness The materials used in ion exchange are called resins and the resins are normally small beads that contain long molecules which bear the ions to be exchanged. Now, during that we can have hard water in so this is the 
ion exchange so add water in then this consists of sodium ion So after the exchange there will be soft water containing now sodium ions. Ion exchange calcium before add water is formed through so this add water contains magnesium ion and uh, calcium ion so during the ion exchange this ion exchange column before hard water is passed through then there is ion exchange column after passing hard water calcium ion calcium ion that is now having calcium after exchanging the ions so what passes out is a soft water now containing sodium ions so this is exchange column after hard water is passed through so these are the ways uh, that you can use to remove water hardness and that is all about water hardness where we have talked about permanent water hardness and uh, temporary water hardness but we can include some other methods as well like addition that is d you can also talk about addition of uh, calcium hydroxide so 
In this process, a known amount of calcium hydroxide is added to water containing calcium hydrogen carbonate and during that there is formation of calcium carbonate which is insoluble. So we'll have calcium hydrogen carbonate plus calcium hydroxide and that gives calcium carbonate solid plus water so after adding this calcium hydroxide we are forming an insoluble salt that has no calcium ion to balance the equation we have two there and uh, two then that is liquid that is aqueous and our equation is balanced finally we have uh, addition of ammonia solution addition of uh, ammonia solution so ammonia solution when added to water containing calcium hydrogen carbonate again uh, there is formation of calcium oxide and this calcium calcium carbonate sorry this calcium carbonate has no dissolved calcium ion this method only removes temporary water hardness and it is uh, as follows the equation that is calcium hydrogen carbonate reacting with uh, ammonia solution and that gives calcium carbonate solid plus water plus ammonium carbonate that is aqueous the equation is uh, balanced by having two there then we have uh, this as the solid which has uh, no calcium ion hence the hardness has been removed so now after looking at the two additional methods of removing water hardness that therefore marks the end of the topic acids bases and salts